Uh, I am Ahmed Ron from uh, Kuwait. Okay, I came here for uh, teaching some classes in different places. Uh, my topic about the Aqeedah. Why we'll talk about the Aqeedah? Because this is the most important thing. The Aqeedah is the most important thing. I will mention the proofs from the Quran and Sunnah, inshaAllah. That the aqidah is the most important thing. Number one, the short and clear ayah. Allah says in the Quran clearly, Surah Al Dariyat. Wama khalaqtu, wama jinna wal insa illa li abudun. Fayqul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wama khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa. I created jinn and mankind only to worship me. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this ayah is very clear. It is clear enough to tell us the goal of creating the jinn and the ins. So the question many people ask, okay, why we are created? Okay. Uh, to uh, make high buildings, to make a family, to make money, to collect money. No. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all the prophets, alayhi salatu wa salam, were sent for this purpose. وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا أَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ وَجْتَنِبُ الطَّاغُوتِ Clearly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And barely we have sent among Every ummah, every nation, every community, a messenger proclaiming, worship Allah only, subhanahu wa ta'ala, only Allah, and i'bud Allah, and avoid the taghut, avoid the shirk, avoid worshiping the, the desires, worshiping the people, worshiping the stones, the, the, the trees. This is the main purpose. All the prophets, alayhim salatu wassalam. Yes, in the Quran you can find that Allah sent Lut alayhi salatu wassalam to also to keep his ummah, his nation away from the fahisha, the homosexuality. But this is not the main thing. Many people think that the main job of Lut alayhi salatu wassalam to stop the homosexuality. No, this is wrong. This is one of his job. But the main one is to stop the shirk. Then, after people stop the shirk, after calling people to the tawheed, he will solve this problem, the moral problem. So all the prophets, from the first one until the last one, to stop the shirk. Their job is to stop the shirk. Calling people to the Tawheed, monotheism. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Why we should study aqeedah? Why we should study the tawheed? To have a peaceful life, tranquility, to live in peace, to live in a light, in a clear way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says subhanahu wa ta'ala, Surah Al Nahl. الذين آمنوا سوري سوري إن سورة الأنعام الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم أولئك لهم الأمن وهم مهتدون they who believe and don't mix their belief with injustice with oppression ظلم wrong doing those will have security and they are rightly guided okay now what is the meaning of ظلم the, dhul, the word dhul is very wide word. If you beat your friend, this is dhul. If you insult your brother, this is dhul. Okay, if you miss the salah, this is dhul. If you look at the lady, also this is dhul. I mean a non muhram If you listen to the music, this is dhul. So the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala, the companions said, Oh, Rasulullah, ayuna lam yadlim nafsa. They mean, this is very difficult. All of us make dhulm. 
we do some oppression, we do some sins. Yani the Sahaba understood the ayah, how they understood the ayah. Vul means all kinds of sins, any kinds of sins, of sin. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, did not you hear what the pious man said and was instructing his son? They, he means Luqman. وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقُمَانُ لِبْنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِذُهُ يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ الشِّرْكَ لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ And mention of Muhammad, when Luqman said to his son, while he, he was instructing him, O oh my son, then don't associate anything with Allah. Indeed, association with him is great injustice, is great zulm. So this is the meaning of zulm in the previous ayah. So if you don't have any shirk, if you don't mix any shirk with your tawheed, your heart, your deeds, your life, then you will be secure. Rightly guided. Yeah, subhanAllah, brothers, sisters, it is very important the tawheed in your life, in your practical life. Why? Because subhanAllah, if you have tawheed, if you have a strong faith, Okay, you will accept all the qadr from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the decree from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why people commit suicide? What do you think? Of course, mostly from the non-Muslims, they commit suicide, صح? Why? Because they don't have a good aqidah. They don't have a strong faith. They don't have Iman. Their belief is dunya. What is the hereafter? They don't believe. Now, now, ask yourself a question. Why the person commits suicide, drinks poison, throws himself from the high building? Why? Because khalas. For example, he lost his job. He lost his girlfriend. He, he failed the exam. I remember maybe before 20 years, we read in the news, when uh, a girl student, because she failed the exam, she committed suicide, subhanAllah. Okay, repeat the exam. What will happen? Because they don't have a strong faith, they don't have belie believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because they believe in dunya only. So if you have a strong faith, then, your life will be guided. You will be guided. You will be under the light. Everything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, عَجَبًا لِأَمْرِ الْمُؤْمِنِ إِنَّ أَمْرَهُ كُلَّهُ لَهُ خَيْرٌ إِنَّ أَصَابَتُهُ سَرَّاءَ شَكَرْ فَكَانَ خَيْرَ اللَّهِ وَإِنَّ أَصَابَتُهُ ضَرَّاءَ صَبَرْ فَكَنَ خَيْرَ اللَّهِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in hadith in Sahih Muslim, narrated by Imam Muslim, said, MashaAllah, yani the, 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 the believer is, Allah is strange, yani, or, uh, is a wonderful man, person. Why? If he has any trouble, any disaster, any problem, what will happen? He will be patient. If he has any grace from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, favor from Allah, he will be thankful. SubhanAllah, this is the mu'min. If you have any calamity, you are patient. A patient. Uh, I mean, you will be patient. Sabr. If you have any na'ma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, favor from Allah, you will be happy and you will thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will say, Alhamdulillah, ladhi bi ni'matim salihat. And this is only for the believer. Only for the believer. If you, have, if you see, face any problem in your life, subhanAllah, car accident, a disease, you lost one of your beloved people, you will say immediately, what? Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. Or, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Allahumma ajurni fi musibati wa khlufi khayran minna. This is the dua, the dhikr, if you have any calamity. Why we should study the aqidah? Because this is the first one, the first thing you should start with. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent Mu'adh radhi Allah ta'ala to Yemen as a da'iyah, he said, Mu'ad, go to the Yemen. 
south of Mecca, south of Medina also. Make da'wa. Give them da'wa. What he told them, فَلْيَكُنْ أَوَّلَ مَا تَدْعُوهُمْ إِلَيْهِ أَنْ يُوَحِّدُ اللَّهِ Oh, Mu'ad, you are coming to a people of the scripture, of the book. It means they have knowledge. They are not easy like the people of Mecca. People of Mecca are ignorant people. They don't have book. They are worshipping the idols. No, you are going to the people, Christian people. Be careful. It means, be ready, Mu'ad. Read. Seek knowledge. And this is what we need for the da'iyah. We need for the Muslims to seek knowledge before giving da'wah. It is very important. You read the ayat, you understand the ayat. You read the hadith, understand the hadith. Read what the scholars said about the ayat and the hadith. So, oh, Mu'ad, you are going to the people of the book. You have to start with tawheed. Start the, your da'wah with call them to la ilaha illallah. If they accept la ilaha illallah, then you go to the second stage, which is salah, the five prayers. If they accept the salah, you tell them about zakah. So it is very clear from the Prophet Sallallahu Okay? Um, Mu'ad, start with Tawheed. It means if they did not accept Tawheed, خلاص. don't tell them about the Salah. If the person did not say, Allah, how you can't tell him, yalla, go and pray, and yalla, wear the hijab, drink by your right hand, and, lift, uh, and, and don't uh, eat with your left hand. Habibi is not Muslim. So you have to start with Tawheed. This is the importance of Tawheed. Also, why we should study Tawheed? Because without the Tawheed and with the Shirk, Allah will not forgive your sins. What is the opposite of Tawheed Shirk? If you are Muwahid, then your sins can be forgiven. But if the person is not Muwahid, then his sins will not be forgiven. Inna Allah la yaghfiru ayushraka bi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha. Indeed, Allah doesn't forgive association with him, but he forgives what is less than shirk. Subhanahu Can you imagine this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive shirk. It is clear in the Quran. La yaghfiru ayushraka bi. And he can, it can be, the other sins can be forgiven. Zina, sariqa, riba, taking the interest, the fornication, stealing, okay, backbiting, killing. All of these sin, sins can be forgiven. Can you imagine this? But the shirk will not be forgiven. That's why we have to talk about the shirk. We have to explain to the people what is shirk and what are the kinds of shirk. The problem now, brothers and sisters, people don't know what are the kinds of shirk. They think the shirk to sit in front of the idol and you prostrate before the idol. This is shirk. Sah, this is shirk, but this is not the only shirk. There is a common shirk now, al-iyadu billah. There are many kinds of shirk. I will tell you something like uh, al-tiyara. What is al-tiyara? You know Tiyara? Oh, you don't know. Who knows what is Tiyara? How many people know the Arabic language? Mark ahead, nobody? What is Tiyara? A Tasha'um, what is a Tasha'um? Superstition. Number 13. Huh? The, the, the black or, or uh, the owl and uh, the black dog, superstition. This is common, right? Even in, the, in, in Kuwait, in the Arab world. Do you know this is shirk? Or you don't know? The Prophet ﷺ clearly said, at to shirk, at to shirk. The Prophet ﷺ said, 
clearly